right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna tackle this rear spring right here. Um, the very first thing we're gonna do, again, because of safety, we're gonna use this jack and we're gonna take some pressure off the spring. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Um, but uh, our goal is to get this off next. First things first, before we start taking anything off, um, I've taken my jack here and I've jacked up this side of the spring uh, to take some pressure off it so that this shackle is loose. If this shackle is loose, then there's no spring tension on it. So I can remove uh, this and then let the spring down uh, easily without it popping on me. Okay, well, again, shackle's loose. So we know the, uh, the jack here is doing its job. So let's go ahead and pull out this cotter pin and get started. Out. Um, and uh, on the bottom here, on the bottom we're gonna have a uh, three quarter and then we're gonna go around to the front view uh, so that we can see the, uh, the, the uh, 13 16 and how you get to that. Now we're looking at it from the other side and I, I made an error. This is actually uh, a three quarter and a three quarter on the bottom. I thought it was 13 16 I didn't measure it correctly. So you have a three quarter wrench on top, three quarter wrench on the bottom. Again, I've got lots to play so I know that my spring is doing its job and taking all the tension off of this so I can remove this bolt without having to worry uh, about it snapping on me and, uh, and uh, causing harm. So not too bad I can get this off by hand. Okay, now that the spacers and everything are out, nice and loose, I can take my jack and I can take the pressure off that like so so we've got uh, uh, we've got the bolts loosened on either side of the spring went through that step so now we're going to hit these uh, four bolts here in the center uh, that hold this on now I, I just threw a little piece of rope on here just so that when these four bolts come off this thing just doesn't drop on me um, it's it's not structural or anything like that so all right, uh, so these bolts, uh, they're 13 16 I have been soaking them for a little while, uh, so they should come off pretty well. So far, so good. Move my light around. Air tools are good, worth every penny. spring assembly remember we had to uh, uh, we had to jack up each side of the spring to start with to take the, the uh, tension off before we remove the bolt uh, that held these two in place uh, then when we got to the center section here we have our plate and our four bolts here um, and everything came off uh, pretty well uh, this is all pretty well illustrated in page 181 of the Corvette assembly manual so if you like these videos please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Thanks so much.